Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little bit different of a video. We are going to be doing a spring slash summer clothing haul and try on. So let's hop on into the video. All right guys, I'm in my bedroom and I am super excited for this video. So excited. I purchased all new clothes for spring and summer. I'm going on a vacation next week and I needed all new clothes because I'm down 50 almost 50 pounds from like 48 pounds down since november 16th i've been following a low carb slash keto lifestyle and i've just really been wanting to lose the rest of this weight ever since i had my babies and i'm feeling so much better in my own skin just because i'm able to fit into the clothes and the things that i want to wear without further ado let's hop on into the outfits that i picked up for this spring slash summer okay i'm trying to do this so you guys get the best like view and this mirror doesn't come off the wall so i can face it towards like the daylight so we're just gonna have to deal with the kind of crazy lighting but this is outfit number one. I have these mom jeans, which are from American Eagle. I just got them last month, um, and they are already fitting me. Like, they're very, like, loose on top already, which is insane, um, because I had sized down quite a bit. So I'm maybe even on the verge of needing to size down again. But for now, these are super cute. I love these for spring and summer looks in Minnesota. These aren't necessarily the greatest in the winter because it does get cold here. But these these would be like super cute with like an oversized tee like I have right now for the spring. Um, and then in the summertime, having like a bodysuit tucked into these would be super cute. Um, I love these so much. The butt on them is super cute. Um, yes, I am a millennial. I'm a younger millennial. So I'm trying to catch up with all the Gen Z things, if you know what I mean. Um, my skinny jeans are out. I haven't worn them for years anyways. And I'm loving this new look. I like the destroyed bottoms. Super, super cute. And these pockets. I love them. They're so flattering and they hide all of the things. Right, so the next thing that I have is this really pretty emerald green dress that I got from Amazon. This is not really doing it justice for the color. It's just a beautiful color. I think that especially with like blue or green eyes, this dress color is insane. They come in a ton of different colors and is very, very flattering. Um, it has like this little detail here to kind of hide any, hide and like smooth out any of the areas that you don't want to show. Um, but yes, very flattering. Hides like the rest of my mama belly that I still have and makes my butt look nice. And I like how it has this little side slit. So when you're at the beach, it would just be, and it's like super light. The only downside to this dress is it is kind of see-through, so I do have to wear a tank top underneath it, but that's okay because I wear like a control tummy tank top anyways. Um, but yeah, I think that this is a super, super pretty color, super cute flowy dress. Um, I did get a large in this one. Um, and everything will be linked down below for you guys as well if you guys want to get any of these pieces for yourself But this one is a winner. I mean how cute is that? Definitely need to do my hair differently when I wear this dress, so dress number two that I got from Amazon the slit is like kind of weird I would like it more so like in the front So when you're walk your, when you walk your legs like show a little bit um, And I think for like being at the beach it'd be nice to like tie this part up so you don't get it in the water But this dress I would pair with like an oversized tan hat some tan sandals um, super cute for the summertime or for vacation, I am obsessed with tie-dye, um, especially black tie-dye. So I'm in love with this dress. I think that this is just so fun and like flirty, but also like kind of edgy. I don't know, I love it so much. Um, and again, this one is also from Amazon and has pockets. So how do you go wrong when a dress has pockets, especially when you are mama and you're putting things in your pockets all the time? So anyways, this is definitely going to be a go-to dress for me this spring and summer and while I'm on vacation. Okay, the next thing I'm sharing is one of my swimsuits. And this, honestly guys, I am like very nervous to put myself out there in a swimsuit on the internet. Um, I've worked very hard at like toning up my extra skin, but let me show you like the reality of losing weight. So my inner thigh area, okay guys? That is one area that I definitely am working on 
and even though I'm working out all the time you can see like where my legs are toned this just like extra pooch hangs on I've always struggled with that um, and I've always had really big hips but I am in love with this swimsuit. I think that it is so flattering. Um, I did get a large long um, because I do have a pretty tiny waist right now um, and my chest has shrunk quite a bit. If you guys are wondering, right now I'm currently at about a 32, I'd say D maybe, like a 30, 32 D for my top. My bottom's at, at about a size 10 to 12 because I do have some bigger hips and a bigger booty. And then for shirts right now, I'm wearing like a large, I guess if it's a fitted shirt, but a lot of the shirts that I wear are oversized, so they're like one size from Urban. Um, anyway, so this is the swimsuit. So this suit, okay, so this is my problem area. This is like my baby belly skin, and then my thighs are my problem area. But I'm here to tell you to just put the swimsuit on, okay? especially after having babies. It's so hard to get back into your swimsuit and feel comfortable. You are beautiful. You literally made humans with your body, okay? Here, you made a literal human. You're beautiful. I'm going to rock this swimsuit. Even though I've got some extra weight in areas that I don't like, I still feel really good about myself because I've lost almost 50 pounds and that is something to celebrate. And yeah, so this is my first one from American Eagle. It's the wrap swimsuit. Again, everything will be linked down below for okay, you so guys. The next swimsuit I'm trying on is also from Airy or American Eagle. Um, it's hard to tell, but this one is actually like a ribbed black clothy material. You can definitely see some of my more saggy skin. That's okay. I still feel beautiful. I feel super comfortable in this swimsuit and I've always had just super wide hips. I'm very hourglassy even when I don't have extra weight on me. So this is pretty normal even if I like tuck my love handles back there. You can kind of see that I still have very wide hips. So this one has an open back and it like ties. It's super cute. I feel like this one would be super flattering on all body shapes and sizes. So anyways, but yeah, as you can see, my waist has really gotten thinner and now I'm really just focusing on this area for like toning and inside my legs so but i'm very i'm very happy with this progress okay, and this is the last suit i ordered um i did this is the first one i actually ordered and i ordered it in an xl i wish i hadn't because it is too big for me up here and just kind of is loose even when i this is like one of those wrap ones too it fits nice in my tummy because like that's where i'm a little bit wider but the top is just a little big so I have to tie it as tight as possible but this is the same one as that first suit I showed you um, but it is in leopard print um, again this one is an XL the other two were larges and they're all three from Aerie at American Eagle I ordered them online actually I think that the other two were large longs because I'm very tall I am like five foot ten so I'm a giant but um, this one I just got in a plain XL and again, I wish I would have gone with a large long um, Because it would have fit me a lot better, but I love this color I think like with a little bit of a tan that this leopard print is so cute um, especially if you were to Match it with like a big tan hat. I'll show you guys here in a sec. Like how adorable is this suit with a hat? I'm loving it and again, I just feel so good, I'm able to wear some of these things that I want to and I feel comfortable in them. Weight loss is definitely a journey and like learning to love yourself along the way. And right now I'm just very proud. This area I'm very self-conscious about. I've got like extra skin that just kind of hangs that honestly probably won't be fixed unless I get a tuck, but I'm okay with it for now. I really am. I think that this suit is super cute. Um, here's from the side. Covers my bum good. I've really been working on my bum too and trying to tone that. But this suit is definitely a winner. I think it's so fun. Um, my husband was like, oh my god, a cheetah print? And I'm like, heck yeah, cheetah print. We're going for it. So cute. Again, with a tan. Mm. Okay, so this is the next outfit I have paired. To be honest, these pants are way too big for me. I did order them in a 2X because it was the only size they had left. Thinking that these like tighten, like, like they, whatever, they like tighten or whatever. They do not. Um, they fit my waist fine. That's not what I'm concerned about. I have a big booty to hold them up anyway. What I'm more concerned about is that like in the legs, they're just, they're so huge. So I do like them. Sometimes I just feel like it makes, 
it just it fits my body weird okay so like here's my butt okay and it like I don't know it just sits on my butt really weird it's not like the most flattering but from the front they're super cute so I don't know I'm kind of torn on these I just don't know if they're the most flattering for my body shape but from the front they're very cute just from the side it's like there's no shape there here's my butt <laughs> just very awkward and I've got super long legs I feel like I should tie them up and they would be a lot more flattering. Okay, so I also got them in black same size because it was the only sizes they had left this one looks a little bit better just because black blurs more so you can't like really notice how gigantic these are on me um, again with my little look how weird my butt looks in them oh well um, I do like the black ones a little bit more and it kind of makes this look like a jumpsuit. The top is a bodysuit tank from um, Airy or American Eagle. I will have it linked down below. It does like clasp at the crotch. Kind of something that would tuck into these really nicely. Um, and again, I have like a really small waist, big hips, big booty. So sometimes things that sit on my hips make me look a lot bigger than I actually am but I'm learning along the way of like how to dress my body now that I've lost all this weight and I'm having fun with it, but definitely like this black color more. I don't know if I already said it, but the pants, both pairs of pants are from Pebby Forevy. Um, if they are still in stock, I will leave them linked down below for you guys. Um, they were almost out of stock when I ordered them, so I'm not quite sure. But um, both the green ones and the black ones are both from Pebby Forevy. Okay, so I also wanted to share this bodysuit with some shorts that fit me a lot better than those pants. Um, these are a size large from, I believe these were from Target last year. Don't quote me, but this is just a pair I had laying around. If I can find a similar pair, I will link them down below. They're kind of like a linen-y, like paper bag type. They have an elastic waist that ties, so you can tighten them. Um, but I feel like these shorts are super flattering with the bodysuit. Yeah, I really like this outfit. Super cute with a big oversized hat. This is definitely something that I will wear all the time in the spring okay, and summer. So one more way that I would style this if it's like just a little breezy outside um, is I have this kimono or any kind of kimono really. I love throwing kimonos over um, outfits like this, especially in the summertime because you want something to like cover you from the breeze and not like make you too warm, you know what I mean? So anyways, this one's from Pebby for Abby last summer. I don't think she has it anymore but I will try and find a similar one and link it down below. But I just think that this outfit is super flattering, very cute, I think it's perfect for like adventuring or if you're going on vacation and, and like going on an excursion for the day, this would be perfect just to cover up from the sun maybe a little bit, um, but not get too, too warm. So anyways, super cute. I love this outfit. Um, I'm gonna show you one more way I would style this okay, as so well. So here is a more like casual look for this outfit. I got these ridiculous like 70s sunglasses from Target. They're super cute. I love like the round with my little bangs peeking out. I think it's so cute. Um, and then I got this Adidas hat from Amazon. I will leave this link down below. The other hat if you guys are wondering, believe it's from Target. I will leave that link down below as well if I can find it. Some of these things I've had for a while, but this hat I did just recently get, and these are wild Fable sunglasses, and I just got these like a week ago, so I will leave those down okay, below. So this is the last way I would style this outfit. Um, this would be for like a nice dinner or just like going out on like date night or something like that. Um, this is an oversized blouse that I've had for a long time. Um, it works out nicely because even though it's a lot too big for me now um, and like comes down it covers my butt and then I'm able to kind of tuck it in here to kind of like flatter my body shape a little bit more and then I just paired it with this cute hat and then I would do some cute like tan sandals okay, so as well. I also picked up some new Burks this year because mine were completely falling apart but I wear Burks like 90% of the time I probably wouldn't pair it with this outfit but um, these are typically what I'm wearing in the summertime are my Birkenstocks. I just did the gray ones because I had like a light tan before 
four um, and the sizing is kind of goofy on Burks, but they do stretch out. So even though these fit me very tightly right now, they will stretch out um, over time, which is why I had to size down because last time they got way too loose and gigantic on my feet. So these should fit me much nicer this year. Um, I did get these ones from American Eagle because I had a $20 off coupon. So, so I did get these for like only 75 bucks on American Eagle with that coupon. So. So this is like my go-to, okay? My go-to outfits. This is very much so a Morgan outfit. Um, this oversized t-shirt dress is from Urban Outfitters. I love Urban for all of my oversized like band tees. This is a Def Leppard t-shirt dress. So I plan on wearing this over my swimsuit most of the time. Um, I usually pair it with, like when I do t-shirt dresses, I will pair that with like a little fedora. This one I actually got in Cozumel a few years ago when we went. Um, I will find a similar one on Amazon and link it down below for you guys. It just has like a little black strap thing on it. Um, and then I will be wearing my sunglasses. Um, most of the summer I will be wearing my Ray-Bans on vacation. I will wear these Wild Fable ones so that I don't lose my nice, um, my nice Ray-Bans. Also, this is what I would pair with the Burks um, down to the beach or like in the summertime when I'm at the lake. I would definitely pair this with my Burks. I love my Burks with everything, but yeah, as far as sunglasses, I just, yeah, I can't wear my rebounds when I go on vacation the whole time because I don't want to lose them. But um, another thing I wanted to mention too is a lot of times I have like wavy beach curls because my hair gets very curly when it gets wet, like or like wavy, it gets like very thick wavy. Um, otherwise, I will normally curl my hair. Um, I just went to the salon yesterday, so I had my hair straightened um, after I was done with my haircut and had my bangs all trimmed up. So, um, but yeah, typically I would have my hair like curled or like beach wavy, but I love these oversized tees for beach okay, cover. So this is another t-shirt dress. This one's a little bit shorter than the other one, um, but this is my new Nirvana t-shirt dress. I actually wear this all the time for my regular outfits and I just tuck this into my leggings. It's like my go-to. Now, a lot of times in the summer, I will just wear a baseball cap um, and then I'll like braid my hair or pull my hair back um, just to like keep it out of my face. I'm usually just in a swimsuit and an oversized tee in the summer because it's so easy. Again, I would just throw on some Burks and this would be super cute. And down at the beach or if you're at the lake or sitting in the boat and hanging out. Um, I love, love, love these oversized tees. These band tees are so cute. Um, again, they are from Urban. I swear by my oversized band tees from Urban. They're so cute. Um, and then that is a new fave of mine. It's like a like washed black denim and it fits my head really well and I do kind of have a bigger head. Um, I just think that it like fits my head shape really nicely. So this is another go-to summer look or like a vacation beach look for All me. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up from me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this try-on haul. I'm definitely learning to love my body throughout this weight loss process and loving that the fact it gave me two beautiful humans. I love them so much. If you guys are new here, I do have a five and a half year old and a two year old, literally the light of my life. I love them so much. And just this whole postpartum weight loss journey has truly been that a journey. I just want to remind you guys to love yourself every stage, every body weight, every body life stage you go through, love your body thoroughly. It will come in time. Riker is too, and I'm just finally losing that weight. I don't lose weight when I breastfeed, and I breastfed until he was six months. My body doesn't fully recover. <laughs> Actually, I don't think most women's bodies normally recover until about a year. So it took me a long time to get back into the groove of things and really feel like myself and have the motivation and energy to put into my weight loss journey. If you guys are on a similar journey to me, I send you all of my love and my hugs and my prayers because I know how difficult this journey can be. But my biggest piece of advice is to just love yourself along the entire way of the journey because it is amazing what you can do with your body and the things that you can achieve if you really put your mind to it. So, all right, you guys, enough of the TED talk and the motivation talk. I will see you guys 
in a couple of days for a day in the life video and then on Friday I do also have a sit down video talking about how we sleep trained Riker into a big boy bed or a twin size bed. I've gotten a lot of questions on this and decided it was finally time to sit down and talk about it and like what we have done to make that process and transition easier. So I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.